point. So thank you guys for tuning in again. And thank you guys for all of your love and support. It means so much to me. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this with other dancers in your life. Anybody else that you feel may benefit from this, share this with them. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight in today. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So today's topic is basically going to be about day three of my experience with going to adult ballet class. Um, and as you may have saw from the title, today I'm going to be talking about how I was feeling that day and the discouragement that kind of went through my mind as I got up that day and got ready to go to class. So I actually didn't even film anything that day. So we're going to get into that in just a second. So basically, I woke up that day. It was, you know, a typical day. It was raining again. So if you saw the last video for day two, it was raining that day. So it rained again. So it was kind of dreary outside. I just kind of woke up did a little bit of work, got dressed, and then headed out the door. Um, the thing that I messed up on, and I think this is why I felt discouraged and I felt more discouraged than I probably would have or just kind of felt a little more down that day, despite the rain, despite, you know, how it was looking outside, all of that. Um, where I messed up at was um, I didn't really pray a whole lot when I got up that morning. That was just one of those days I just kind of woke up and just did my own thing. Or whatever kind of got ready for work and that was pretty much it um, I typically get up in the morning I'll either read my Bible I'll pray or a combination of those or a journal or something like that I also um, there's another thing that I do in the morning times too on some days it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling when I wake up that morning I have a sign that I made and I'll put a clip of it um, in the video I have a sign on my door that leads into my closet um, and it's basically about worshiping God and stretching my hands out before him and obedience and surrenderance and things like that. So I have that, but I didn't do any of that that morning. I was just, like I said, just kind of woke up, did my own thing, headed out the door. So we're going to talk about that today. So I wanted to talk about how I was kind of in my head and just kind of having some negative thoughts and things like that. And so... If you remember going back to the dance journey video, I'm not rem I'm not sure which um, part it was. If it was part one, two, or three, I probably mentioned it in all three parts. But that's something that I've struggled with along my dance journey and just in life in general is just kind of negative thoughts, discour being discouraged along my dance journey and all of that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I felt when I got up that day, just really, really discouraged. I don't really know what was going on so anyway with the negative thoughts or that discouraging kind of feeling that's something I feel like I've overcome over the past few years like when I really started diving into my relationship with God that was about uh, 2014 I think like the end of 2014 I really started diving into my uh, relationship with God a whole lot so I feel like I've overcome that over the years from me developing maturing in Christ and all of those things but that doesn't mean that I'm exempt from having discouraging thoughts so this is just one of those days and like I said I didn't I didn't do what I normally do when I get up so I think the enemy really crept in that gave him that open door of opportunity to just walk on in because I didn't have my armor on to, which is the word of God. I didn't put my armor on for that day. So enemy crept right in. And so I just felt discouraged the entire day, even when I got there. Um, and it was kind of a weird day anyway, when I got there, our instructor, she was already kind of feeling under the weather too. She's kind of getting over a cold. So she wasn't as perky as she normally is. Um, so the energy was a little bit low. Um, and I think it was kind of amongst the entire room as well. Like I said, it was kind of gloomy looking outside. It had been raining. A little bit the day before I believe as well as that morning so it just kind of one of those days so like I said when I got there um, I just didn't feel the same I didn't feel that excitement and I don't think there's anything wrong with not feeling that excitement and when you're on a journey of any sort when you're chasing your dream you, you're gonna run into those moments where you just kind of feel a little bit down but I could tell it was something different that day it just felt like I don't think I can do this uh, I didn't feel good enough. I, I kind of started to have those thoughts that I talked about in the dance journey videos. So, yeah. So, guys, make sure, you know, when you're out here chasing your dreams and your goals, especially for us as believers, for those of you who are believers, make sure that when you get up in the morning, God is the first person that you talk to. 
Try not to get on your phone, try not to check your email, especially social media with all these things going on in the world today. Try not to check social media. Don't let that be the first thing that you do in the morning. Speak to God, talk to God, get in his presence, seek his face in the morning. Um, and that's, you know, that's what he says in his word is to seek first the kingdom of God. And I think there are other contexts that you can apply that to, but I think that also applies there as well. And to give him the first fruits of your day, your morning, your time with anything, give God the first fruits of what you're doing. He wants to be involved. He loves you. He cares for you. He just wants to be there for you. So like I said, I didn't record any footage. I just didn't feel, I just wasn't feeling my best on day three. Um, but I think class went well. Um, you know, we went through the same, same things. We started off at the bar and then stretched and did some work in the center. So typical day of ballet class. It just didn't feel as exciting that day and I just wasn't feeling my best. Um, but what we're going to do today is I wanted to go through some scriptures today just to give you guys some faith and encouragement, especially for my believers out there. I'm going to keep saying that especially for my believers, we have to continuously seek God, even when we're up, when we're down, especially when we're up. That's the time, you know, you can kind of forget about God because things are going well. You feel like, oh, I'm doing good and I don't have to really talk to God because I'm doing good and I feel like he's blessed me with what I asked him for and I've done this and I've done that. No, continue to seek him because you, that just really leaves the door open for the enemy to come in and destroy your peace, destroy your joy and take your joy. He's the, he is the thief of joy. That's what he comes in to do. He comes in to steal, kill and destroy so continue to make sure that you're seeking God and communing with him throughout the day, all throughout the day, because anything can happen during your day, anything at any point. So we need to be continuing to talk to him all throughout the day. So before we jump into the scriptures that I want to get into today, I just wanted to reiterate the importance of putting your armor on before you even start your day. Like as soon as you get up, you're thanking God and you're confessing his word and his promises over you. Everything that belongs to God belongs to us as believers. So anything that he has, it belongs to us as well. So claim it over yourself and speak those words over yourself, um, especially if you are having a day that like I was having, just kind of feeling down and discouraged, um, especially on your journey and you're really passionate about it and the devil can kind of creep in and try to make you discouraged about continuing to go along your journey those thoughts don't come from God when you start to feel discouraged like that God is never going to discourage you now he'll try to reroute you if you're going the wrong direction but he's never going to discourage you from things that are in his plan and in his will for your life so I just wanted to reiterate that before we get started um, and just kind of going back to some of the things that I do and disclaimer this is not a formula of any sort I don't want anybody to feel like because this is what I do this is what they have to do as well but like I said, I have a sign on my closet door and I keep that door shut um, during the nighttime because I typically wash and dry clothes at night and I just kind of let it run and everything. So I don't want to hear all that noise <laughs> while I'm trying to go to sleep. So I keep that closet door shut um, and I do that as well on purpose. So because I have that sign on the door and what I do is I basically um, I get in front of that door. I'll turn on some worship music and i'll just kind of sit for a second but i'll get on my knees and i'll kneel in front of that sign as a sign of worship to god and i'll lift my hands and things like that and just kind of get in his presence and let his presence soak me for my entire day to get my day going to get it started all of that but like i said that's not something that you have to particularly do do what works best for you and your relationship with god he speaks to us differently um, because we're all different so Whatever you feel is best for you in the morning to speak with him and get in his presence, do that. Always be led by the Holy Spirit. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that before we jump into these scriptures. So as I was getting ready to prepare to film this video for you all, um, the first scripture that came to mind, I was really trying to ask the Holy Spirit to guide me and lead me to the right scriptures to give to you all. So the first one that came to mind was Psalm 31 verse 24. And I'm going to read it in two different translations. So I'm going to read it out of NIV version and the message version. So um, before I jump in, I'm going to show you guys my Bible. So this is what it looks like. It's called the Woman's Study Bible. And I got it off of Amazon. Excuse all of my little 
so-called bookmarks in here. I got so much stuff in here, but that's what it looks like. And I'll leave a description, uh, not, a, not a description, but I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Um, so if you need a good Bible to read the NIV version, I feel like it's a really good version to read. It's easy to understand in my opinion. Um, so that one, the message version is also really good as well. So that's another reason why I'm going to read the message version of this scripture as well. All right. So, um, it says in Psalm verse 31, verse 24 in the NIV version, it says, be strong and take heart all you who hope in the Lord. And I really love the message version because it lays it out just plain and simple. So it says, be brave, be strong, don't give up, expect God to get here soon. So basically, I take that as, you know, when you're starting to have those discouraging thoughts, be strong, you know, be brave, all of those things, but put that hope in the Lord as well. So don't just try to rely on your own strength, you know, with trying to fight off those thoughts, you really have to get into the spirit because we war against not flesh and blood, but against principalities and spiritual things as well so we have to fight in the spirit so don't try to just do it all in your own strength and really rely on the lord for being strong being brave being courageous all of those things and i really love listening to pastor michael todd if you all listen to him he's an awesome anointed pastor he's really really good and one thing it's in one of his series i have to go back and look to see which one it is but um he tells us that God basically made us human beings. So he has, so he says to be strong, not to act strong. So you don't have to try to put on this facade and put on this mask and act like everything is okay. If you're having a discouraging day, you're having a discouraging day. We're human. We're going to have those times. But as a believer, we have an advantage because we have God. We have the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us. So we don't have to go through those days alone. We can ask the Holy Spirit to strengthen us and that's Part of his function is to be a strengthener and a comforter. So that's one of the scriptures that I want to go over. Uh, so the next scriptures I'm going to go over, I'm going to go over two of them and combine them because I kind of want to touch on two things that kind of that I kind of see in the both of them. So this next one I'm going to go over is John chapter 10, verse 10. And it says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have life and have it to the full. So that's John chapter 10, verse 10, and I'm reading out of the NIV version again. Um, and I wanted to go over to Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 as well. And it says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So I see two things in here. So I see Satan's purpose and I see our purpose as believers as well. So I kind of wanted to talk about that. So we see that Satan's purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. And we know that God has given us a purpose. Even if you're going through, like I said, one of those discouraging times and you feel like you don't know what your purpose is and that you don't have a purpose and you're kind of going through that kind of mindset, God has given us a purpose and his plan is to prosper us, is to give us life so we can have it abundantly and to live it out to the full. So those are two things that I saw in there. So I wanted to kind of combine those and just give you some encouragement there to just basically just going back to um, just relying on God and just knowing that he has a purpose and a plan for you and just study that out really get it into your spirit meditate on it get it engraved over your heart um, those are two really good scriptures just to remind you that God is with you and that you have a purpose and that you should not be discouraged even if you're feeling discouraged don't just don't quit don't give up and you know let those words really soak into your spirit. All right, so this last scripture that I wanted to give you guys is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. And so it reads, For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. And there are some translations that say of power, love, and a sound mind. And I really wanted to tap into that sound mind part. You don't have to accept discouraging thoughts. You can cancel those thoughts out. You can rebuke those cast those thoughts out in the name of Jesus and cover them in the blood of Jesus. You don't have to accept those thoughts. As a believer, you have a sound mind. Whether you're walking in it or not, you have a sound mind. You have access to it. You have the potential to tap into that ability to have a sound mind. You don't have to accept depressing thoughts, anxious thoughts, um, discouraging thoughts, any of that. All of this is available to you as a believer. So I just really wanted to touch on that scripture as well and end with that one 
because we're talking about discouraging thoughts and discouraging times and things like that. So um, these are some scriptures that I go to. So if you guys are really going through a discouraging time right now, or if you're, even if you're up right now, dive into these scriptures. These can be your foundation for when you do run into discouraging times or when you do have a discouraging moment and you feel defeated, go ahead and start diving into some of these scriptures. And um, you don't have to go to these scriptures alone. You can go and find some other encouraging scriptures and uplifting scriptures, which, whichever ones really hit home for you or really touch your spirit the most. Go ahead and dive into those and get those, you know, written over your heart and engraved in your spirit. That way, when those times come, you got you got some armor, you got some weapons in your arsenal, some tools in your belt to go ahead and be able to speak those things out. So if you're a believer, drop down in the comment section below. What are your favorite scriptures? I want to hear from you guys. So I want to know what you guys are going to during your discouraging times or even when you're up, whatever you're feeling. What are your favorite go-to scriptures? Drop those down in the comment section below and I'd love to hear from you guys. So I was getting ready to wrap up this video, but um, I was feeling really strongly led by the Holy Spirit to end this video by inviting those to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior for those of you who may be watching who have never done so before. Um, so I just wanted to lead you all in a prayer of salvation. Um, you may be wondering how. Um, it's really it's really simple. All you have to do is what I've learned over the years is being called the ABCs of salvation. It's just to ask, believe, and confess. So I just wanted to lead you all in a prayer of salvation. So. Um, and another thing in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, and I'll read it out of the Bible. It says that, and without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So if you're struggling with discouraging thoughts and you really need, if you, you, know, you feel like something else is missing in your life, um, and you kind of feel that tug on your spirit, that Jesus is that thing that's missing from your life. Allow him to fill that void in your life by following along with this prayer of salvation. So for those of you who are praying this prayer with me, I just ask that you bow your head and close your eyes and repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner who needs a savior. I'm coming to you as I am Please forgive me for every sin against you. I choose right now to turn away from my past, take my life, and make it yours. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. He died for me and rose again. And I ask him now to come into my heart. I make him my Lord and Savior. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me live for him all the days of my life. Thank you, God, for sending your son to pay the price I owed for my sins. Thank you for your grace and mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, for those of you who just prayed that prayer, welcome to the family. You are now one with Christ. You are his child. You are part of the kingdom of God. Congratulations. So I just wanted to encourage you all who prayed that prayer as well. Just know that God loves you. And there's nothing that you can start doing or stop doing to make him love you any more or any less. He loves you regardless. It's because of what Jesus did, not because of what we do that makes him love us and that makes him do that makes him do the things that he does for us. So congratulations. Yay. But you guys, I just wanted to go ahead and wrap this video up. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about my tagline that I have for the video. So I'll be closing my videos out with this tagline each time. So the tagline is facing fears forever. And if you watch the intro to my video, you may catch it really, really quickly um, at the very beginning of my intro. 
And so basically with that, that's the purpose or one of the purposes of this channel. So I know today we kind of talked a little bit about faith and encouragement, but that's one of the topics that I want to talk about on this channel outside of my journey to point because I'm a believer and I believe that that's part of what's going to get me and help me get to the point of dancing on point. So during those discouraging times, that's who I'll be leaning on. The word is what I'll be leaning on to get through this dance journey. And I want to encourage you all as well. But with facing fears forever, basically that's what I'm doing here. I've always been so afraid to speak in public and I've always been kind of shy, but I think a part of that comes from other things in my past as well, just kind of being fearful and afraid of certain things and just being afraid to launch out. So that's what we're gonna be doing here on this channel together. So I just wanna thank God for allowing me to be a vessel to you all today and give you some faith and encouragement along your journey, regardless of what your journey is, whether it's dance, whether it's artistry, or whether it's music, whatever your journey is, I just wanted to give you all some faith and encouragement. So. Thank you guys, and until next time, we'll be facing fears forever together. Peace. It's STG.